Braun's suspension is especially tough on his youngest fans. Explaining to kids where Braun went wrong can be a tough task. Our Tom Murray got reaction from coaches, parents, and little leaguers today. He joins us live also out at Miller Park. Tom. Well, Mike Carroll, good afternoon. Yeah, this is especially tough for Braun's youngest fans. You can see there actually is a Little League game going on right now here at Hellfair Field. I talked to a lot of coaches and players today. They tell me there were a lot of conversations about Braun on the way to the ballpark. In the shadow of Miller Park, baseball's future stars slug it out on Hellfair Field. After their game, we talked to 10-year-olds Jonah and Seth about a player they admire. I was kind of surprised that he was taking steroids. I was kind of mad because he's one of our star players and he helps the team a lot. Dad and coach Phil Hauser believes it's important for his sons to see the news coverage of Ryan Braun's suspension. Is it a teaching moment for the kids? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You teach, I mean, I try to relate it to them and how it impacts them in their life, like a school situation or, you know, if you cheat on a test, you might get away with it once or twice, but in the end, you're going to get caught. Even at this age, some coaches are already talking to young athletes about playing clean, drug-free ball. These players need to learn how to develop and how to, how to play, play the game properly and learn how to lose. We asked the Little Leaguers if they thought Braun should have done anything different. I wish it would have came out sooner, because now we suspended the whole season. And while reporters certainly have questions for number eight, perhaps the questions are best asked by his young fans. Why? Like, why did he take the drugs? Yep. Like, he was already a good player, so why would, yeah. like, he want to be better? Boy, a tough question there when you hear it from a 10-year-old. Now, Ryan Braun's image is all over Miller Park. We wanted to know what was going to happen with all that Braun merchandise, shirts and stuff in the team shop. We'll show you what we found coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. For now, live outside Miller Park, Tom Murray, today's TMJ4. Yeah, sad, especially for the youngest players, but good to hear that that one dad is sort of turning it into a teaching yeah. moment. Thanks, Tom. A lot of